Welcome to Ditch Auto, this is Jared, and week 15 of our photography challenge is here, and this week we are gonna be focusing on the color blue. Now, focusing on a color is interesting, uh, and especially with the color blue, because blue is a very interesting, it's a primary color, it's a very, it can be a very challenging color for camera sensors, um, you know, in lower light situations. It can also be, um, a very important aspect of color when it comes to your white balance. Typically, when we're white balancing an image, uh, it can either appear really cool, which has a lot of blue hues, or it can be on the other end of the spectrum, which usually has a lot more orange uh, or warmer color tones in it. So blue is interesting because it can mean a lot of different things. Blue also uh, can be a tied to emotion where, you know, the, the term or the phrase feeling blue usually means that you are sad or something like that. So blue really has a lot of different ways that it can be introduced into a photo. And I wanna leave it totally up to you to see how you wanna capture blue. You can capture blue as a color, you can capture blue as a concept or an emotion, or you can color, you can capture blue as far as a, your image being more cooler than it is warmer. So I'll totally leave it up to you on what it is that blue does in your mind, what you think you wanna do with blue this week. And I'll be super interested to see what all of you decide to do with your photos. So with the Ditch Auto Facebook group, that's where you'll be posting these photos. Uh, some of you have been along for the ride since the very beginning, and we are 15 weeks into this now. Um, and some of you are just joining us. So make sure to check out the link in the description below, which shows the link to our group and the link to the proper album for uploading your images. Um, it's been really cool to see the things that people have came up with and how they are integrating what they have learned in previous week's challenges into the new challenges. So feel free to integrate some of these things that you've been learning or that you've been experimenting with into the challenge. Um, the first thing that popped to my, into my mind is maybe an image that was properly colored, but maybe the bokeh in the background or the, you know, the shapes in the background are blue. I mean, you could totally play with this and have fun with it and try different things. Um, maybe not just think about what blue is as a, a color or a concept in your mind, but how could you integrate blue into the image? How can you make that work? Um, you can even use lighting and you can put blue gels over it. There's so many different things that you can do to modify or manipulate an image using the color blue. Or, of course, you can also do that in post-production. Take your image that you have and go into Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom and play with blue there as a, a color variable in your image. So there's lots of different things that you can do. And what's been really cool about leaving some of these challenges kind of wide open is just seeing what people come up with and what they're able to capture. Sometimes it is very literal with uh, it being exactly what the challenge was called called for and, and was even titled. Um, and then it's even been interesting to see some integrate the challenge with other challenges and even take a little bit of creative license there to expand upon that and try their own thing. I really love that because I like to see what people are doing and I love it when some of you guys have been posting your thoughts and uh, your camera settings and just what you did with that image or what you did with that situation to get that image in the comment of your photo uh, and it's been really cool to see that. So I look forward to seeing what all of you come up with this week with the color blue. In future weeks, we're going to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more exact on what we're looking for in the challenge. Um, I think sometimes it's good to have it kind of wide open so that we can get out and just try more without being limited. Um, but then sometimes it's good to have the limit of a more precise challenge because that also stretches us to try something that might be a little bit out of our comfort zone. So this week, as you're out with your camera, which I hope that you are, be looking for the color blue or the concept of blue, uh, whatever it is that makes you think of blue and bring that together into your photography this week. And we look forward to sharing in that with you back in the Ditch Auto Facebook group. So thanks so much for checking out this video. And if you're new to Ditch Auto or photography, make sure to check out our free course on Ditching Auto, which helps get you out of that automatic mode and gets you into manual 
manual mode so you can start harnessing the power of your camera and telling your camera what to do so that you can get the best quality images out of your camera uh, because you have the control to tell your camera what to do. So not that auto, auto mode is horrible, but having that manual control, having that knowledge of how to manipulate your camera definitely helps. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Look forward to interacting with all of you in the Facebook group, so make sure to head on over there and we will see you in the group and again next week with the next challenge. So thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you back soon.